Hello again and uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, today's upload will probably be the last upload for 2020. And I hope to give you a glimpse of what is going to be some good news for 2021, specifically with regard to COVID-19. So one of the most common requests with regard to topics on this YouTube channel is what do we need to know about COVID-19 vaccines and whether we have some good news to present specifically for the coming year. So one of the subscribers actually emailed me or messaged me whether I can enlighten most patients on COVID-19 vaccines and specifically are they safe for my diabetic patients so what i'm going to do this afternoon is give you some background and what you need to know about covid-19 vaccines so why is there a need to be vaccinated for covid-19 we all know that this is a very fatal and serious disease and although most of the patients remain asymptomatic, but we actually don't know how COVID-19 will affect you, whether it's going to give you a severe manifestation or complication, or you will remain asymptomatic. We also don't know what long-term complications will set in depending on the patient's risk. We know that being a diabetic and being overweight and obese with cardiovascular disease put a patient at higher risk of developing severe complications of COVID-19. And therefore, as a diabetic or as an obese patient, we really want to know whether these COVID vaccines can help protect us. Furthermore, we know that COVID-19, once you get sick, you're not the only ones who are going to get sick, but most likely the persons that you've contacted with you be, you've been in contact with for the past few days while you had the symptoms. And therefore, it will affect your friends, your family, and your loved ones. And thereby, it is at the present time still a recommendation that to prevent one from getting sick or to prevent to protect your friends and family from getting sick, that we always recommend wearing a mask and to continue avoiding social gatherings. So why is there a need for us to be vaccinated? Now, actually, when a person gets COVID-19, that person who got infected will develop some form of a natural protection called natural immunity because your body produces the antibodies against COVID-19. The problem is the duration of the protection is still not known. And therefore, the risk of the severe illness and death from COVID-19 far outweighs the benefit of natural immunity. So you don't just want to get it to have antibodies against it. So as a result, COVID-19 vaccination, therefore, is needed for all of us who have not been infected so that we can help create an antibody response to a COVID-19. We develop our own immune response to COVID-19 without having to experience the illness. So what is the purpose for you to be vaccinated? Vaccines, therefore, are there to train your body so that your body can fight the germs faster. So that's why it is our recommendation that once these vaccines are in our country, that one should be a volunteer to be vaccinated. Now, there are different kinds of vaccines available. So this is from BBC. Uh, the source from the World Health Organization. And you will note that what we hear most would be those vaccines that have been approved in the US and in Canada, 
of which we are trying to get also in our country. And topmost would be the Pfizer and the Moderna vaccines. Both these vaccines have been shown to have 90 to 95% effectivity. The difference between the two is that the Pfizer is stored in minus 70 degrees centigrade while minus 20 for Moderna. Likewise, the number of shots for these two vaccines are two, while the Pfizer requires 21 days apart. It requires 28 days apart for Moderna. Now, before you even subject yourself to vaccination, here are some of the things that you need to tell the medical care provider or the ones who are going to give you the vaccine. First, if you have any allergies, if at present time prior to the vaccination you have fever, any bleeding disorder, or are you, on immuno, are you an immunocompromised host, or if you are on certain medications that will affect your immune system. Also very important is are you pregnant or are you presently breastfeeding? But one very important information that you should also provide your medical care practitioner is whether you have received another COVID-19 vaccination prior to the present one. Now, these two Moderna and Pfizer vaccines are not recommended for children. We don't have studies yet whether children below 16 years of age, they are effective. So Moderna, recommends 18 years and above, while Pfizer recommends 16 years old and above. Now, we, what is very important is just like flu vaccines or any vaccines, once you have that vaccine given to you, you may have some soreness, swelling, or pain in your arm for around one to two days. However, some patients will also develop an immune response where you develop some sort of tiredness, fatigue, and fever, which should not be an alarming uh, symptom to you, but an expected side effect after a vaccine. Now, one very important information that you should give to the medical practitioner who will administer the vaccine is you have to give him a history if you have a history of allergic reaction because it is not recommended to give a COVID vaccine to anybody who has a history of allergy to any of the ingredients present in the vaccine. If you had severe allergic reaction to other vaccines in the past, you also have to talk to your doctor because it may still be safe for you to get vaccinated for COVID-19. If you are allergic, allergic to peanuts, to pets, to venoms, or to any kind of food, including eggs, you may still get vaccinated because most of these COVID-19 vaccines do not contain these ingredients. What's important also is that people who have allergies to oral medications or even family history of severe allergic reactions or milder allergy to vaccines, you can still talk with your doctor and that you may still be given the COVID-19 vaccines. Now the question is, once I'm vaccinated, do I need to wear a mask? Because since I'm already vaccinated, I'm already free to go out and enjoy because I am sure I'm not going to get COVID-19. Unfortunately, no. Yes, you will continue to wear a mask. You need to continue to wear a mask. Remember, the vaccines here work with your immune system so that your body, once it's exposed to the virus, can fight against the virus. Wearing a mask and staying at least six feet away from others should continue to be practiced because what we believe is together the COVID-19 vaccination, the safety protocols that you should, uh, should continue to be in place so it can both can offer the press protection of all of us from COVID-19. 
Now remember that when you are given the vaccine, it will not right away protect you against COVID-19 because it typically takes few weeks for the body to produce these antibodies and build immunity against it. That means even after you have been vaccinated, the person could still be infected with a virus that causes the COVID-19 just before or just after the vaccination and still get sick. This is specifically because when you give yourself a vaccine, when you receive the vaccine, the body has not had enough time to provide the protection. So meaning the vaccine did not create or elicit an immune response yet enough to protect you against COVID-19. So it is therefore very important that even after the vaccination, that you continue to practice the safety protocol. So the bottom line with regard to COVID-19 vaccine is this, that COVID vaccines will not give you COVID-19. That's one of the most important fears among my patients because none of the COVID-19 vaccines contain the live virus that causes COVID-19. This is a different form of vaccine. It's an mRNA vaccine. So don't worry that by receiving the COVID-19 vaccine that I'm giving you an attenuated virus that may elicit a true COVID-19 infection. Second, that COVID-19 vaccines, once we give it to you, will not cause you to test positive for COVID-19 viral test. If, for example, you had a COVID-19 vaccine and you develop fever three to five days after because you got infected, and when you did a PCR, it was positive. Do not blame the COVID-19 vaccine. The COVID-19 vaccine was not able to protect you yet during that period, and you got the COVID-19 infection, and you got a positive COVID-19 viral test, and it has nothing to do with your COVID-19 vaccine. Likewise, for those of you who have gotten sick with COVID-19, please talk with your doctors because you may still benefit from getting vaccinated. So all my diabetic patients, all patients with chronic diseases, all patients at risk of developing COVID-19, specifically the elderly, should receive the COVID-19 vaccine because at present, this vaccine so far based on clinical trials are safe with around 90 to 95% effectivity against COVID-19. It is however best that we continue to follow safety protocols, specifically face mask and social distancing. So if you like my videos, please click subscribe and notification bell to be notified for new videos. This will probably be uh, one of the, uh, the last videos that I'm going to upload for this year, 2020. I hope for everyone to have a wonderful new year. Hope to see you again soon and see you again next year. With this, thank you very much. I hope this information on COVID-19 vaccines is one of the best news we have so far during this pandemic. With that, thank you very much.